welcome you to the 2023 to determine the National League pennant. The Arizona Diamondbacks and the Philadelphia and Jeff Francoeur will hear from Matt Weiner in just a moment. Well, the champion painted in game sevens in the past. What are these players in store for, Ronnie? Let's start. Game seven. I felt the weight of both of those starts and did not pitch well in either of 0.94 ERA in the games that he's pitched. And in that game three, he last two starts. No runs allowed, over 10 innings, and he's had the strike in a game seven, Frenchie. Well, I'll tell you, the cool thing is pitchers, they got to throw a lot of pitches. As a World Series. Let's talk to the managers now. First up, the Phillies manager, Rob Tuckers. On one of these game seven nights. Uh, just a poise level. You got to relax. Philly, after this, we'll talk with Tori Lovello on the other side ahead of game seven. Arizona manager, Tori Lovello, and it's not all on Brandon, but it's a lot. He's learned, he's gotten better every single start. I don't think there's a moment that's too big for him. He's got a good. Ron Darling and Jeff Francoeur. Thank you, Matt Weiner, and here we go. The goes into the leadoff spot against lefties. He's there tonight. Corbin Carroll, then seventh. Emmanuel Rivera gets the start at third with Longoria as the DH. Suarez on the mound, Ron Darling. Season, but trying to give you fans at home. We're going to establish that tonight. Well, a catching ranger in game start seven. There's Bryce Harper doing a great job over at first base. Only 36 games in the regular. Umpiring crew tonight, Adam Hammery in his second champion third and the Outfield umpires Lance Barksdale in his fourth LC baseball game we'll have after this one will be game one of the World Series. Yes, if the Diamondbacks win, he's ready to go. First pitch, yes, strike. And we're Marte caught that off the floor. Bounces one to around a lot of youthful players but they have a real star in Kaden 15 straight season 2 2 and down he goes the depth of this oh. pitch starts kind of just above the belt when the adrenaline is at its highest you know he is in a good place here's Corbin Carroll bouncing ball up the middle going to be a time this NLCS guys 0 for 10 against lefties and finally gets a hit here in game. The great move to first. He holds runners well. Learns to lead and lead his. Hey. County over the last two years and serving Ronnie in a lot of different save to finish off the NLCS a year ago against San Diego. And there was a the lights are brightest. But they knew his makeup would serve him well as a starter. But in the post didn't pitch division series. He got two starts against Atlanta and then and just dominant numbers. Carroll takes off and a right, a base hit. Carroll on it. He stopped moment. His seventh hit in the NLCS. The Diamondbacks put pressure on right away in the shirt sure drop, but plenty enough speed to get to third. And give Moreno a lot of credit. Just went to an environment like this. As we saw yesterday, it's a big deal. That skips away from me. Great athleticism from even with all the innings he's got. Here in a big spot in this first inning. Broken bat, ground ball, score, and the Diamondbacks put one on the board in this first inning. Important job of running for your life to stay out of that double. Here's Tommy Pham who homered yesterday. Hey. Quieted down the. Well, whether it was the players, the fans, I think they. This play is on fire tonight. Diamondbacks one game done this crowd and force a game seven. I think it's pretty safe to say that two games to start this at LCS. Swing and a miss and Suarez. D-back strike first. Now the Phillies coming up. Twenty five year old right hander Brent numbers. Uh, he has improved so much. Three. Schwarber takes the first one low. Brandon off the record of six and a swing and a miss and a good change in the regular season. Well I think what's going to now it's five days later you saw him I think fought in this hostile environment here his big league career. He's only walked one in the postseason it was the first I Brandon fought is the first pitcher in MLB postseason history the Dodgers in the DS and then the Phillies in game three. Bad. He's thrown two really good sinkers, both taken by Schwarber. Three and two to Kyle Schwarber. And 
and he struck him. A batting order about as good as it gets at the top with Schwarber, Trey Turner. Here's Trey Turner now. He has 10. And yeah, ties him. 10 days ago, played his college ball in Louisville. And run. Yeah, that's just, this team goes as these guys get on. Ooh, the clock was ticking. It was down to one. A rock behind that play catching again tonight. Emmanuel Rivera gets a start. Carroll shifts to center like game. The left hander on the mound. Here is Perdomo in the bright shoes. He makes the play and, and he's a left handed bat. Diamondbacks don't really deviate ERA from the call. We talked yesterday night last night with Merrill Kelly when he came out. They have a plan to the game where there's the defense. We're going to see. We're going to see. Ian Castellanos and Schwarber. Harper fouls it away. One fought just starts in time. And a swing and a miss, and it's one in, a foot inside. Nope. You saw him have the discipline to lay off that one. One, two. Two, two to Harper. Outside. Just missed. Harper has a great up. Three, two to Harper, and he got him. A breaking started any better than that for the rookie right hander. One nothing done. Citizens Bank Park and first ball. Guriel lines one to left field, a base hit. They're hitting shoes on early here in game seven. Had to be looking for that pitch. First pitch curve. Guys that we thought had a good plan against Ranger Suarez. He got the best of us, but we thought. Had an RBI double last night. He's on the first pitch. Did that as a member of field. Just missed it a tick on the bat. Two things. You're either sitting on that first pitch curveball or your approach is right. Experience against Ranger Suarez, giving them a second chance. This is the guy that they're talking. He's got some play catching again tonight. Emmanuel Rivera gets a start. Carroll shifts to center like game. The left hander on the mound. Yeah. Here, here is Perdomo in the bright shoes. He makes the play well, and he's a left handed bat. Well Diamondbacks don't really deviate ERA from the call. We talked yesterday night last night with Merrill Kelly as when as he came out. They have a plan to the game where there's the defense. You're going to see it. Ian Castellanos and Schwarber. Harper fouls it away. One fought just starts in time. And a swing and a miss, and it's one in, a foot inside. Nope. You saw him have the discipline to lay off that one. One, two. Two, two to Harper. Outside. Just missed. Harper has a great. Up. Three, two to Harper, and he got him. A breaking started any better than that for the rookie right hander. One nothing done. Citizens Bank Park and first ball. Guriel lines one to left field, a base hit. They're hitting shoes on early here in game seven. Had to be looking for that pitch. First pitch curve. Guys that we thought had a good plan against Ranger Suarez. He got the best of us, but we thought. Had an RBI double last night. He's on the first pitch. Did that as a member of field. Just missed it a tick on the bat. Two things. You're either sitting on that first pitch curveball or your approach is right. Experience against Ranger Suarez, giving them a second chance. This is the guy that they're talking. He's got such quick feet. He stepped off and threw over there at the same time and almost got Guriel. But the guy Tori Lavello is talking about.